doesn't want to have friends? And as a Christian, who wouldn't want to have godly community? In this vlog, we'll talk about it and give practical advice on how to navigate Christian friendships. So I'm gonna take you along my day to day. I just finished my DMV stuff because I had to renew my license. And I feel like I'm actually getting old because this is my first time going to the DMV by myself. Doing grown people stuff. I should be filling up my gas tank, which I will be doing. So when I think about Christian friends, friends in general, you're gonna have to make time to actually talk to them. I realize that as you get older, it's going to be harder and harder to actually make time for them. Um, that doesn't mean they're any less important. Something that me and my friend do, we try once a week to dedicate a FaceTime call to updating each other on our weeks, how we're doing mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically, all the things, and pray for each other. So I didn't really eat breakfast first when I left because I had to leave really early for the DMV but here I am eating my chipsan bustle. If you're in a season where you feel like you're seeking out new friends, maybe you're starting college, you're starting brand new and fresh, what I would say is honestly think about your future self. So now I'm going into my second year of college and going back to school like makes me happy because of the friends I've already established there. Had I been super closed off, not wanting to have friends, not wanting to even search for them, search for godly community. Current I'm in right now would be struggling and would be honestly scared to go back to school because I would not feel like I belong. So in those seasons where you feel like you are alone or you're desperately seeking out godly community, use this time to grow closer to God. There are certain things that happen in our life that God allows so that we can draw closer to him and also becoming the friend that you want to be to someone else. And so what that looks like is genuinely seeking God and spending time with God, being in your word, daily becoming the friend that you want to be one thing that i started to do literally yesterday i think it was in my time with god was i began to think about the fruits of the spirit and as i was reading it i was thinking like obviously i want to bear all of the fruits of the spirit which galatians 5 22 through 23 says but the holy spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control there is no law against these things and so when i was thinking about it i was like okay obviously i want to bear all these fruits but let's be practical with it when i look at my life and from this list of fruits that represent like the holy spirit inside of us and jesus inside of us and you know who he calls us to be this is getting cold because i want to talk to you guys but of the fruits that are listed here what am i lacking in where am i kind of feeling like okay i may be doing better in this area but not in this area. So I listed three fruits of the spirit that I feel like I lack in. And I did self-control, gentleness, and patience. And so what I did was, okay, now that I've recognized this and understood this, I feel like for love, for joy, for peace, like for those things, I feel like I may be doing better, but that may be different for you. It's different for every person, obviously. But what I wrote down is, okay, now how can I work towards bearing those fruits that I feel like I'm lacking in my life. Obviously, great thing, even in the purpose discussion that we had on Sunday, um, I had talked about abiding in Christ, John 15, 4. Obviously, I know I cannot produce any good fruit apart from Christ, so it's gonna be fully relying on his Holy Spirit to help me do that. But I can also focus on taking goal-oriented steps, actionable steps to living this out, to bearing those fruits. So I wrote down, for self-control, what areas of my life do I need to practice self-control and what areas of my life do I need to practice gentleness patience and so yeah the conclusion that I wrote in it at the end was literally abide in Christ like I want to do these things I want to grow closer to Christ and in the context of friends I want to be this friend to someone else I want to have someone else that is dedicated that loves the Lord that spends time with him daily so that I could just you know confide in them as well so in the book of Proverbs there's a verse that says iron sharpens iron and so obviously that takes two sharp things to sharpen each other if one is sharp and one is not really only one person is benefiting from it and i don't want to be in that kind of friendship there may be certain situations where you're called to be in somebody's life to benefit them to bless them to pour into them to disciple them and that's awesome but there are also as christians i feel like there's such a huge importance of finding friends that actually sharpen you one way that you can be sharp for someone else is growing in god yourself too so what i've just been reminded of lately is abiding in christ and wanting to intentionally bear the fruits of the spirit in my life and identifying which areas that i need more of the holy spirit's help in <laughs> to do that so yeah back to breakfast god also blesses us with siblings maybe not everybody has siblings but i feel like god gave us siblings to be friends with them too so i just took the best nap ever i guess i sound like this when i wake up that's crazy i mean i decided we'll go out later in the day because it's really hot outside so i figured to do something productive i'll film some tiktoks so if you're wondering if you see my tiktoks what my setup is it's the natural window that comes to my parents bedroom literally put the camera by the window the light is aggressive right now i bring my phone i bring my bible obviously because 
TikTok is also Christ-centered content and whatever I feel like I should talk about that is Christ-centered that would benefit other people, I'll film. Um, sometimes I'll do Bible study, mini Bible studies. Sometimes I'll do something else. This lighting is not okay. Maybe I'll go in the shade. Perfect. Something I also do, which I normally do for my regular YouTube videos as well, is pray before I post TikToks because I don't want to just be speaking out of my flesh. <laughs> I don't want to just be speaking out of ideas that I think are beneficial for people when the Holy Spirit really knows what people need to hear. That's always a good thing to prayerfully do things and consider the Lord in that. Welcome to Bible study with Amen. Psalm one time. What? What you don't see are the outtakes, the amount of times after we do this. Okay. Yay! That makes me so happy. We are getting ready to leave. This Dabokolo came like three weeks ago. It's just so good. Let's go to a grocery run, chill, and talk more about friends. The real question is, did the Indians come up with it first or did the Habashas come up with some Busa first? That's my question. Does anybody know? Bye. Clearly Holly's doing the grocery shopping because I'm chilling with the agenda at home. She just has to get her avocados, her probiotics. I'm content, you know? The Bible says to be content, Halle, in Christ alone, not in your probiotics, but it's okay. God also says to glorify God in everything that you do, including yes, your belly. What is this? this? Is Digestion. Anyways, Halle, how much are the stuff? Halle, you must have to go to the ship. Off the goods. So we're not gonna eat actual dinner? You, if you want to, we can. Uh, uh, let me tie my seatbelt. Okay, it's ever right without it. Can I? As Hadley's driving, let's do a little haul of what we got at Barron's. Barron's is basically a Sprouts, but it's like Whole Foods. And we never go here. But since Hadley is the one buying groceries, she's more of a health girly. Right? Anyway, so I was the one who got chips, because obviously this was my idea too. We'll be eating this up. And then Hadley, you're gonna need to explain this, but what is this, probiotics? I've literally never tried it, but yeah. But what is a probiotic? It it's just good for your gut health. It's good for digestion. You know what's good for digestion? Jarat. <laughs> <laughs> She got avocados. You want this now? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we also got what is this whole Greek yogurt? Greek yogurt. That's the haul for today. Ara yellow, ara ara gitai hoy bag. You know what does that song say? I like my life. Yes, so do I. Do you? Okay, so Fanon by Pagadu, like what five years ago? She like did like a cover of a couple of songs, but I just love the ending of the song. I literally had the ending on repeats two days ago. I was literally blasting it until I got home. And when I mean blasting, I literally mean blasting. I'm like if we pray, Miss Gana hit, Miss Gana hit. I know we can't take it. But see me, I'm in me. Lidge Bamani, Ulgize Thomas Gala, who need it? Eh, la la, who need me? Bessie Mabek and me. Sinking out with your love. Be a yes, who must go. That was my part that I loved. Do you oh, need wow. anything or no? I would get fries, but like I don't need fries in my life right now. Yeah. So we're getting fries. <laughs> so you should I'm not just be tempting me like that. Like, yeah, the get devil comes that to do not... steal, kill, and destroy. And yes, Christ has come so he can give us life. life that had nothing to do with Chick Fil A. I'm sorry. Anyways, <laughs> red flags. That's hard. It's not hard actually. It's really not. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'd say an immediate red flag for me is just someone that you know doesn't share the same convictions as you because you know that, like, okay, especially for me, I think it applies more when you're in college, I would say, because you're literally on your own and you don't have... Depends. Like, well, well, it depends, depends on your everyone's situation, but yeah. at least for me, it was like, I'm and on my own. It's not like there are church yeah. people there or like my family or my parents or anything yeah. like that. So I had to be very, very intentional with the friends that I had um, so yeah just people that even if they don't necessarily share your convictions at least they respect your boundaries because mm -hmm. I don't want to be the type of person that's like oh you have to only hang out with Christian people yeah. that have the same convictions as you I, think, I definitely don't believe that yeah. um, I think you definitely should have Christian friends that have the same convictions as you um, but make sure that you're intentional with having friends that even if they aren't Christian that respect your right. boundaries and your beliefs 
um, and I aren't going to intentionally make you stumble so if they do do that then I would say that's a red flag it's important to know who is what friend in your life and what yeah. I mean by that is like obviously not every single friendship and relationship you have is going to benefit you spiritually and I think that's kind yeah. of like the world that we live in there may be situations where it may be like a discipleship relationship where you're like pouring into someone else okay there's a chick-fil-a person coming up here and I don't want to like film when they're watch when she works hi I'm Hallie I'll change my name no just do what it what should my name be today no don't lie I'm not lying yo what's your top I'm not a father <laughs> Hello. Hello. Can I get your order? Hallie. Hallie? Yes. Okay, good start to you. Thank you. I told you you guys have a great day. You, you too. too. I told you. She was gonna say my name is Hallie. Because then I have to say my name is Hallelujah and then I have to spell it for them and then H A L E L U J A H I just say my name is Hallie. It's okay. There's forgiveness at the feet of Jesus. <laughs> My name was Amen, and then I would just say Amen. Amen. No, I say Amen. Let me not come for you. Yeah, but then I don't have to spell a whole time. My name was Amen Gabra Manged. Gabra Manged. Gabra Manged Meskal Mikael Ye Madani Alem Geta Jesus Christos. That would be That's a little an bit amazing there. name. I think I'm gonna name my child that. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was saying it's important to know who is what friend in your life because there will be friendships there will be relationships where you're there to pour into other people um, and that's a good thing that's not a bad thing you know what I mean like some friendships it's just like I'm pouring into them some mm -hmm. friendships is just like I'm an acquaintance for you like you yeah. know like it's good to kind of think of it like that honestly mm -hmm. so then you don't have this super high expectation like oh, yeah. I was really trying to like this was supposed to be my accountability partner like not everybody's supposed to be your accountability partner mm -hmm. not everyone's supposed to know all your like everything a verse i want to share was james 5 16 therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective so it literally says like in order to be healed of certain things in your life it will take the confession of sin not only to god because yeah. of course god knows it but the confession of sin to other people mm -hmm. and you know it doesn't say confess your sins to all the world there are going to be certain people in your life where you know when you come to them about what you go through honestly in life like they can encourage you they can also share the truth with you in love but also give you a reality check and be like let's do better and yeah so I realize it's honestly very, very rare to have friendships where you can actually like do that. Also, people say vulnerability breeds vulnerability. And that's because if both people in a friendship are intentionally vulnerable, um, like someone has to start. Basically, someone has to initiate the vulnerability. And when that happens over time, it takes growth. It takes time. Some of the most life-giving and life-changing friendships happen when you are the most vulnerable with them. And they know the entire real you. Because it's honestly kind of sad to live a life where your closest people don't actually know you for who you really are. Um, yeah. You guys see how Halle is the chill one and I'm not. <laughs> it's called balance. Yes. God blesses us with blesses us. God blesses us with beautiful friendships. <laughs> Take a breather. Deep Oof, breath in. Gates. Lord's chicken is in the house. I actually want to share another song with you guys. Guess which song I'm going to share with them. Amaranya? Yeah, it's Amaranya. I don't know. It's by Sidrak sing sings it. Who? Sidrak. Shadrak sings it. <laughs> I'm sure when you say it, I'm going to know it. Yeah, you're definitely going to know it. But... <laughs> Translation coming after this. I will bless it. So I yo by Nesarayan Setsara is I've literally seen with my own eyes you doing my work. It's a little weird when you translate it automatically from Amharic to English. The Amharic version just sounds different, obviously. It's a really good song to kind of reflect back on the faithfulness of the Lord in your life. Ullun Chai is like all powerful. So it's like thinking back on like how the Lord has protected you and like kept you. Mesmur will always slap. They sing the song called You Will Be Saved by Elevation Rhythm. And we have just been playing this on repeat, like all my friends, and it's been really good. This is your Mazmur worship segment of the vlog.
I realized that since God created us as relational beings, people who thrive in healthy community, we cannot fulfill God's will for our life in isolation. There is wisdom in intentionally living life with and in godly community. So the set is setting at this beautiful park. Two things I wanted to leave you guys with when it comes to finding godly friends is obviously pray for them. The Lord says, asking you shall receive. If you know that friends, having godly community, we all know that that is a prayer that is in alignment with the will of God. He's going to answer that for you. Jesus said like, whatever you ask in my name, it will be given to you. And obviously that's not a genie in a bottle type thing, but if finding godly friends pushes you closer to God, which it should, then the Lord will be pleased to answer that prayer for you. So I just encourage you continue to seek the Lord in that. Last thing, I just want to leave you guys with some questions to ask yourself to assess if a friendship that you have is actually godly and, you know, Jesus-centered. And if you find out that it's not, maybe it's something that you need to take up to the Lord and say like, God, do I need to cut this off? Or just asking the Lord how you should move about that friendship or relationship that you have with that certain person. So how do you feel after you hang out with them? Are they draining you emotionally or are they adding to you? Do you see them growing in God as well because again when it comes back to iron sharpening iron both of you guys need to be sharp in order to be sharpening each other obviously we have off days obviously we have times where and seasons where we feel like we're just tired we're done but in the grand scheme of things have you seen them actually have this desire and actually living out pursuing the lord and how do you act when you're around them like are you wild and because they're wild and like you know that's obviously a easier thing to identify i feel like if you're if they're really bringing you closer to god in the way that they act that would also determine the way that you act as well maybe you aren't meant to cut off that friendship maybe you are but i genuinely pray for those of you who are watching to find accountability partners just godly community and beautiful friends that you will literally be able to experience the love of god in a deeper and a different level simply because you have found friends that love jesus too Halle, do you have any last things to answer i mean specifically when it comes to finding friends that truly bringing you closer to Christ. Take your time, it's not gonna be like an overnight process. It can, but most likely it won't. It's something that takes time, and it takes you being willing to put yourself out there. Click on the video on Hallelujah Tamaskan's face. Yes. To watch my next video. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.